Here we go, a little Metallica pumping it up here. Let me get rid of that little bad boy. We are underway. This is Metallica, Master of Puppets. Love that hype song. I'm gonna kill it though, gotta be able to talk. Can't have the music blaring in the background. All right, uh, today, just a quick little mini lesson that you guys can watch. Um, we are kind of getting going with our curriculum. You've done your introducing uh, you sheet, which we'll be talking about in class uh, shortly. And there's a little something behind that introducing you sheet. It's not just the simple ice breaking, um, you know, activity that it might seem. Uh, that introducing you sheet is really going to tie to our bridge lesson to start our year, which is our first unit on the, the basics of the social sciences. And so here we've got a little slide that you're looking at. Uh, the social sciences and down below are some potential college majors. There's going to be some videos coming up that explains each of those potential college majors within the subdivisions of the social sciences. But I want to focus today on just the title of the slide, social sciences. What are social sciences and what does that even imply, right? Because you're taking social studies. Now, when I was a kid, we called it history, but you can see on the screen on the slide, a historian is only one small branch of the social sciences. There are several branches of the social sciences, and I've even left some out of our list, like criminology is not on that list. So what are social sciences? This is basically, right, the study of people, more than one person interacting, right? And there's, if you look through that sort of college majors list of all the potential college majors in the social sciences, and as we uh, learn about each one, we'll see that each science sort of takes a, a, a hack at looking at human interaction in a different way and human behavior in different ways, right? When you've got more than one human interacting with another, and the behaviors that arise from that. Now, it's also uh, a science, right? And we take a class called science in school. So how does this differ? Well, there's some overlap. The social sciences also are based on empirical thought and scientific method, just like chemistry, biology, right? Geology, all physics, all these other science classes that you take. We're gonna use the same empirical thought processes you know, maybe not everything lends itself to an experiment, but everything does lend itself to a hypothesis. And this leads me to my first thought, right? All the time, this is a great disservice to our society. All the time I hear kids say, well, that's my opinion. It can't be wrong. <laughs> Baloney, All right? Let's throw that out right now. Baloney, your opinion can be wrong because what you're saying is your opinion is actually a, hypo a hypothesis, right? It's actually just a position statement. And we're going to learn early in this class that when we form a position statement, we've got to be able to back up this alleged fact, this position. We have to be able to back it up with proof. And we need to be able to elaborate on the logic of that proof, right? And, and show empirically uh, why we believe that to be true. And some positions could be very, very strong, almost approaching a fact, and yet other positions could be very, very weak. And so just because you have an opinion or a position does not mean that it is a good one, all right? And I'll give you lots of examples of this in class. 